Hi, this is just a quick uh, video for you on uh, climbing in life, <laughs> just because, you know, I hate to be identified always as the person that climbs, because uh, there's more to my life than that. But it seems like you enjoy it more when I talk about that a little bit. So today I was thinking, uh, I had been recently listening to some of Father Mike Schmidt's uh, talking about wisdom. And I had an experience climbing where I ended up kind of hurting something, and I don't know, it, it seems fine now. But it made me think, because you know when I climb, one of my problems is that I don't necessarily climb smart. I still haven't got used to what kind of things I can step on successfully, where my foot will slip. You know, how slanted can something be before my foot will just slip off of it? And it's not really even that simple, because there's some stuff, stuff that can be almost straight up or straight up. You can put your foot on it, and if your hands are in the right place, it's okay. But I was thinking about this, and that I don't necessarily always climb smart. And in talking with other climbers, sometimes we'll say that, uh, you know, we got through something by powering through it, by using strength, instead of by necessarily doing it the smart way. When we do that, we tend to get tired. And if you get up into climbing, then you find that uh, if you're relying on strength, uh, rather than balance and, and knowing what kind of things to step on and exactly where to place feet and where to place hands, uh, you get tired, and then for me, I get up on some of these longer climbs uh, that are a little bit more intense, and then I'm too tired, and I'm so tired that I just can't even hold on anymore, and I have to either take a break or it blows the whole thing, and then I, I can't uh, do it. So how does that relate to life or work or other things? Uh, one of the things for life is that some people get through life on strength, or say they do, uh, and for some, it's more about wisdom. And I think it's good to contrast those. Uh, this last week, somebody at work said something about, you know, oh, you know, there's a lot going on. You have a lot of responsibility and you're working so hard and everything. And anyway, it's really nice they say that. Um, actually, they told me they were afraid I'd quit because it's so hard and it's not that hard. But I had somebody that I worked with uh, years and years ago. And whenever somebody would say, Oh, you've got such a hard job. You got a lot going on. She'd say, I've got big shoulders, you know, like the whole world's on her shoulders. And she's kind of going, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm suffering, but I'm big and powerful and strong. <clears throat> and she was great. You know, I mean, she did a good job. But, you know, there was a part of me that almost wanted to say that. And I thought, no, that's dumb. Why would I say that? Because I don't get through work by being stronger than somebody else. I get through work, honestly, because I have a lot of experience and wisdom. And that doesn't mean I have wisdom in the rest of my life. Uh, it means that I've got reasonable amounts of wisdom for the job. I've been doing this for, you know, decades, so I should be able to by now. Uh, but for life, you know, the less wise we are, the more we end up having to rely on strength to get us through. So for you folks that are dating, I'm so sorry for you. If you're dating, then you know that sometimes you make bad choices and then it takes strength to get through it. Either the strength to say goodbye or the strength to deal with their goodbye or the strength to just suffer through something that really was never meant to be on you and you've just taken it on when you probably shouldn't have. And possibly for lack of wisdom. So the smarter we are in, in more in the sense of wisdom than knowledge, because knowledge means that you know what to do, or you know what not to do, or you know uh, things that you need to know. But with wisdom, it's knowing and acting on it. And I've, honestly, I just learned that. I mean, I've just, I forgot or never knew that for years. And it's really only in the last few years that I've really realized that wisdom is not knowing. Wisdom is, is actually taking the knowledge we have and putting it to use and making decisions based on that uh, knowledge, not just knowing it. Because we, oh, they're so wise, they know what to do. Yeah, they may know what to do, but they may not actually do it. So this is the point. Uh, so the more we live without wisdom, the stronger we have to be to cope with the effects and the consequences of making unwise decisions and doing things that were not wise. Uh, just like in climbing. With climbing, I gotta cope with, if I, put my feet wrong, if I put my hands wrong, if I rely on strength, then I'm going to get worn out and it's going to be really a lot harder than it needs to be. That's one of the jokes is, is that I can make any climb harder than it really is because I just make the wrong choices. Same thing in life. If you make the wrong choices, life is way harder than it ought to be. So think about that. Think about living on wisdom more than strength. 
And you know, sometimes people will praise it. Oh, you're so strong. You're so strong. Oh, I admire you. No, that's great if you're strong. And there are some things that we can't avoid and take strength. That's certainly true. But if somebody praises us for the strength to deal with the after effects of our own stupidity or our own mistakes, because we did something unwise, that's a little funny. We better not be too happy about that. Because if we start to take that praise and say, oh yeah, I feel really good, everybody praises me for being strong, we're liable to repeat the same dumb things just so that we can be strong. But there's lots of stuff we have to be strong for that is wise stuff. There are times that we have to make decisions because they're morally right, ethically right, because they're the wise thing to do in the larger sense. But in the immediate, people will be angry with us, um, we may embark on some piece of work like I'm doing right now that's extraordinarily difficult. And it was the wise thing for me to take this job at work. But that doesn't mean it's easy and it doesn't mean it doesn't require strength. But to the degree that I do it right, it will take less strength than it would. And that's the trick, is to do it the wise way, do it smart, do it the best way possible, and it'll take less strength, which means you have strength left over for enjoying life or strength left over for dealing with the things that we can't avoid. Uh, anyway, I hope this is helpful. Uh, and yeah, be wise. And if you can uh, find that, uh, maybe I'll put a link to it, but if you can find that uh, homily on wisdom, uh, it really is a very, very good homily. I really have enjoyed listening to it. So hope you enjoyed listening to this. I'm Ed Rushman, Whitestone Journal.